preparing pairing for the next supervolcano eruption. Sailing across New Zealand's pristine Lake Taupo on a blue sky day, it is hard to comprehend the level of destruction that took place here 1,800 years ago when the Taupo supervolcano erupted. Forests were flattened and mountains collapsed as plumes of superheated gas. Pumice and ash rose 50 kilometers, 31 miles, into the air. The Torpo eruption around AD 232 is regarded as the most violent of the past 5,000 years, with a volcanic explosivity index, V, magnitude of 7 on a scale of 0 to 8. The noise it made likely would have been heard as far as 5,000 kilometers, 3,100 miles, away by people living in Australia, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea and the Pacific Islands, says Professor Colin Wilson, a leading New Zealand volcanologist who is based at Victoria University of Wellington. No humans lived in New Zealand at the time, but the impact on flora and fauna was catastrophic. A high-speed pyroclastic flow comprising gas, ash, pumice and rocks spread out from the vent and covered all local features up to 90 kilometers away. The lake created by an even bigger blast 25,000 years earlier known as the Oruanu eruption, with a value of magnitude 8 rose more than 30 meters, about 100 feet, above its modern level as the flow blocked the lake's outlet. When the blockage failed, the resulting flood that surged down what is now known as the Waikato River caused more destruction. A supervolcano is the term used to classify volcanoes that at some point in their history had an eruption of magnitude 8 on the valley, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Their eruptions are so massive, sending 240 cubic miles of material into the air, that they have the potential to cause lasting climate change. But even eruptions smaller than magnitude 8 can be deadly. Earlier eruptions of other supervolcanoes such as Mount Tambora in Indonesia, Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.